What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Aster. Now this software allows you to set up one computer, but have two or more users simultaneously logged in at the same time using a single or multiple GPUs. That is super, super cool tech. You don't need a Microsoft server license or anything like that. It works with Windows 10 and 11. Um, and it is just really, really cool. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So here we have the Aster website. This is the site that you're going to want to uh, download the software from. And uh, you can try it for free. So it's essentially a unlimited 14 day license. And then it is extremely and surprisingly inexpensive for what it does. I think it's like $24 for a year or like $50 for life, um, which is insane. And then they have some business uh, licenses for larger numbers of clients. Um, but yeah, essentially you have one machine. And then within Aster, you can actually... Um, specify what monitor goes to which user um, what keyboard and mouse go to which user etc so you're going to go to download and you're going to download the latest version once you've gone ahead and installed the, the latest version and entered your uh, licensing key and things like that it works for 8 10 and 11 um, 2 to 12 users for 32 to 64 bits and uh, once you get that installed it's going to look like this um, if we ignore everything here, because most of this you don't really need to know, um, but you do want to use Aster Wallpaper when enabled, because that's actually going to let us know um, that it's working as soon as we turn on the computer and it's logged in. We see a different wallpaper and we're like, okay, it's working. Once you know that it's working and it's functional, you can, of course, remove that, but that's really good to keep on to make sure that it actually shows. Um, and then you're going to go and choose um, when a system starts up. And that's how you're going to start um, Aster Workplaces. And then if you go to the Workplaces, you can see what the actual interface looks like. So here, we actually have two screens. And if I right click on one of them and go to uh, Indicate Device, you'll see that it has a 1.1 on the top right. And what I've gone ahead and done is assigned the normal keyboard and mouse to the main display, which is on the right. And the one you're seeing behind me right now, which you can see kind of moving behind me. And then the other display I have set up to this keyboard. So if I use this one, you'll see that I'm actually running uh, completely different apps utilizing the GPU um, on this account as well. And this is a separate Windows user account with different settings. You can see behind me that uh, each one has a different wallpaper, for example. So they are running two concurrent user sessions and I only have one GPU. You can use Aster to actually show multiple GPUs and assign them individually here. But since I only have one, um, it basically just splits the processes and processing power between them. Now this wasn't always the case. It's only recently that one GPU can actually be used across both. Otherwise it would be software virtualization or things like this. But Aster somehow allows you to run two different machines or two different user accounts at the same time with both of them running visual applications. So I had um, Unreal Engine working on one and I had World of Warcraft playing on the other and they play just fine. So very, very cool functionality and it supports virtual displays as well. So if you have a virtual display, you can actually um, enable it here and then, you know, I would recommend setting it up on a physical display with a physical keyboard and mouse. But then once you set up a remote desktop session to it, you can actually log into that at any time using a virtual display and you won't even know that it's there. Super, super cool functionality. Once you've assigned the workplaces, you're going to go ahead and uh, click on these uh, the little hamburger menu under each one and go to edit user login. Make sure you have multiple accounts and then I usually just go to display login dialog. You can assign a specific account to a specific uh, workspace, which is fine. Um, but I generally just like both of them to show the login page and then that user can log in to their own account. Once you've gone ahead and configured it, you just come back over to general settings and um, set it up to when system starts up and then just restart the system. It should show you a login page with the Aster wallpaper and that should show you um, 
that should allow you to log into any system account. Um, each monitor that uh, you set up will work as an independent workspace. So when you log into the first one, the second one will still be on the login page and you'll have to log into a different user account with that one. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah.